Land, and welcome to another episode of the G Show Podcast. I am G1, and this is the Godzilla Block Party. It's been a crazy week. Uh, I, I, I just cannot wait to get into the podcast. Honestly, it's been a, a, a nutty week in the real world. So now I get to dive into hanging out with my buddy Chase and Game Game Z1 talking about Godzilla and other things. So yes, of course, I just introduced him, but let's do it anyway. You know him as G73, Megzy. I know him as my brother Chase. What's going on? Nah, man, I'm happy. I'm not sick no more. And it's starting to get into really nice weather up here in Sacramento. Uh, well, you, but I'm, but I'm from Sac. Um, it's nice cold weather. It was raining the past couple of days. It was kind of nice. And um, I got a chance to see It Chapter 2 over the weekend and absolutely loved it. And uh, I'm in a good mood, man. I'm in a good mood. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Happy to have you on. And of course, <laughs> Gam Gam Z1 with his bootleg beady, beady, beady. Beady, 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 boy. What's up, brother? <laughs> uh, not a hell of a whole lot, man. Just uh, been enjoying my past six days off as per every other week usual. And uh, it's, my mon- it's my Monday. I got to go back to work tonight. Whatever. Do, 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 do. Let's not focus on the negative. Let's focus on the positives. And the positives, just, just fantastic. It's starting to cool down here up in Montana as well. It's not quite, uh, not quite freezing yet as it usually gets around this time of year. It's it's not quite absolute zero. Oh, that's a tie-in. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a time for later, ladies and gentlemen. Spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, it's still white jacket weather, and I'm loving it. You know, I prefer the cold over the hot, so I- I'm happy. It's actually cooling down out here in Vegas, too. It's been a nutty couple of weeks when, in terms of temperature, reaching 115 to 118 degrees. It makes me mad. It makes me sick to my stomach. I hate the heat. I can't stand it. I work outside. Ah! But it's been nice. These This past week has been glorious. Today, absolutely beautiful. And tomorrow, even more so. So, yes, that was the weather on the Godzilla Fox Party, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. We're out of here. Peace. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Um, <laughs> we got some stuff here, man. We want to talk some stuff. I definitely want to get into th- some things. We're going to talk about that death battle that happened uh, last week or two weeks ago. But before we get into any of that stuff, I want to start with something we touched on last week. But today, I saw some details in an article, very well uh, put together article from, I think, Sci-Fi Japan, detailing the Japanese Blu-ray. And 4K editions of King of the Monsters. Oh my god, these things are freaking stack loaded. And, and I'll, uh, to, to jumpstart this, Chase, you're my news guy. You read this article, man. Do you know like everything that's coming out? Like the, the, the good, juicy stuff? For this Blu-ray specifically? This collector's package? This collector's package, yes, sir. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I uh, when, <laughs> when I read this article when i saw it posted like five minutes when it would hit before like when it hit news like all over everywhere i was mad because we just got done talking about like um (laughs) where's our where's our where's our collector's edition how come we're not getting anything special like that and man i tell you what if this was the item that was sold in the united states it would sell like hotcakes I would definitely have one, and I'm definitely probably going to get one when I f- get the opportunity. I can't turn that down. Um, it's it's um, it comes in a nice three sided box, kind of like a book, and it has four discs discs in it. Um, one with Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah, and there's um, there's some special features that are going to be on it that are exclusive. Uh, to the Blu-ray that we don't have, and I don't remember what they were, but it goes into a little bit further. I think it sounds like on Toho's side of the King of the Monsters, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Big part in it, which is kind of cool. And um, then there's just some other legendary stuff that's exclusive that we haven't seen, which I'm so mad because I want to see that. Um, it, but the main big prize that it comes with is that there is a new SH Monster Arts figure exclusive coming with it, and it's the Atomic Blast version of their uh, Godzilla figure. And um, there's also, um, I think there's like a burning Godzilla one 
But I don't know if that's just a specific figure that's being sold or if that's one of the collector um, editions. I'm not too I, sure. I can chime in on this. That Burning Godzilla figure is going to be coming with every release of the Japanese Blu-ray. Ooh, um, nice. it's just it's just a Bandai vinyl. Um, oh, it's not yeah. an SH Monster X figure. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay. Uh, but but it's still it's it's a Bandai vinyl Burning Godzilla, and the standard Bandai uh, 2019 Godzilla is already the Atomic Low version. So this this is something that us collector, us figure collectors we just like remember how I talked about the 2014 one and I was wishing that the 20 that King of the Monsters yeah, had this exactly. and this is the exact thing that I wanted that we tried that we're trying to get like that's why I'm mad what took them so long to get this out here okay. And Go that's ahead. one thing. That's the one thing that kind of makes me a little bummed is because Toho is talking about selling and becoming united with you know getting their foot in the door on all sides of the world. They should start honestly by selling that in the states. I think that would be the perfect start. Or and open I don't it, think, I don't open like it worldwide. That it's well, yeah, I would, that? I would open it worldwide. I mean, because you know Toho in Japan is synonymous. But I would totally open that worldwide. All right, here. Me too. The floodgates are open. Uh, I'm looking at some of the stuff right now. I just opened up the article. The special features that we did not get here in the States. That, I mean, honestly. Gam Gams, this one's for you. Godzilla King of Monster Toys. I mean, come on. Are you kidding yeah. me? That's a bonus feature. That that's that that's on a disc. What are we seeing Dude, from that? That that reminds me of when Toho used to do that in their VHSs and their um yeah, uh, they used to do the toys and like the like the trailers of other movies and stuff at the end of them. I remember a lot of the old VHSs that I, well, not the old ones, but the Hes I mean, they're old now. The Hesai VHS tapes they would give you all like the behind the scenes stuff, and I loved it. I used to love watching it on every single one of those things. It was awesome. It was like it was like deleted scenes before deleted scenes. You know what I mean? Before, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, I love that stuff. What else we have here? We have. Event video collection that Chase alluded to, which is the world premiere in Hollywood, the, J the Japan special screening blue carpet event, the Japan premiere stage greeting, the opening day stage greeting, and the Toho Studio Godzilla tour. Come on, man! Are you kidding me? We can't get any of that! Oh, boom! You dropped the ball, legendary. It, oh, it fumbled that one. Any this is me calling to all Godzilla fans. If there is any backdoor method that you can that that you can find out to get this set, get this freaking set. Um, from what I'm hearing, a lot of sites that that like do allow uh, uh, you to like import things from Japan that is normally only sold in Japan, those things are sell out. Like like uh, I think I forget what, I, what the the site's name was, but it's it's like. Hobby Link Japan or something? Like, yeah, it was, yeah, that's not right. There and it sold out. It's gone. Well, even the Amazon JP one on Amazon, it sold out too on yeah. the Japanese Amazon. But I do want to point out, though, I do want to point out that yes, th these special features are crazy cool, and honestly, it's something that we should have gotten at, at least the Godzilla King of the Monster toys. That would be awesome, especially for collectors. You know, that's crazy. Now you get the exclusive figure. This thing is priced at almost 200 bucks US, okay? Which, that's steep. But, I mean, if you if you look at this, and I think I'm probably going to make this one of the, 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 the thumbnail pick for this episode. If you look at this box set, it is absolutely gorgeous. One of it the best beautiful. ones I've ever seen. Oh, it's yeah, like the, it's like the second trailer. It's just perfect. Looking at, yeah, looking at... Everything in the set, the four discs, the, the, the presentation of where, you know, the actual fold-out thing itself, you know, the, the figures. I think there's even a booklet that comes with it. There is a like booklet, that, yeah. Yeah, that alone <laughs> is worth the $200. Can, can I just mention one thing? Um, Toho, I give you major props for being more of a cheerleader for a movie than the actual company that made it <laughs> so oh, you you guys are promoting king of the monsters like it's the best thing since sliced bread right now and you're also supporting it with a major collector dvd release and you guys are promoting it in like such a cheered type 
you know, you're a big support. And what does Legendary do? We took, they're, they're, I feel like they're taking this loss a little bit personally. Oh, yeah. And oh. they're just half-assing a release. Oh. Yeah, like, like, literally all we got was the Best Buy Steelbook. And compared to this, this, this wonderful freaking package that Toho is offering, the Best Buy Steelbook ain't Jack Diddley. And that's why I didn't want to get it. It was like, okay, I mean, like, yeah, Steelbook's cool, but there was nothing that enticed me really wanting it. This, I'm telling you, man, this thing is fantastic. It's out of the world. Like, most of those special features that you mentioned, like the Toe Studio Tour, all all those behind-the-scenes things, that's probably on the fourth disc. It is. Because because the three discs, the the three, this is, this, this actually... The, the really cool thing, it has all three formats for anybody who wants it. It has 4K, it has Blu-ray, and it has the DVD. Like, here in America, if you get a 4K, you ain't getting the DVD. And if you get right. the Blu-ray, yeah, you're getting the DVD, but you ain't getting the 4K. That's true. That's true. It you're has, getting all three. You're getting all three. That fourth, that fourth disc is stacked. So, you have all that, right? Then you have the official interviews, Ken Watanabe, Michael Doherty, uh, the Japanese dubbing cast, which, hey, that's actually pretty cool for, you know, everybody in Japan that buys this thing. But then then it goes into what we got. The Monsters 101 with Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Rodan. The Monster Evolution, Monarch, the Millie Bobby Brown thing, Force of Nature, the Monster Tech, uh, Monsters are Real, which is, uh, what was that, what did it call that? Uh, Monster Quest Lite. Uh, Welcome to the Monsterverse, the Two deleted scenes that absolutely... Watch! Watch Toho break out the deleted scenes that has, like, shit Godzilla in it. Like, watch Toho give us shit <laughs> that we have never seen before. And I'm telling you right now, I'm what selling out like the a deleted movie. scene where Godzilla and Rodan square off? Something. Watch. It'd be great. Watch. It'd be like, okay, ha, 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 ha. Very funny. You see those two deleted scenes they put up? <laughs> this is what we really had, though. Here's the other seven. <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> Here, here's the full three-hour cut that we that, that, that was teased. His you, legendary doesn't know it. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. You want to see the other monsters? Here, take that. Oh, come on. Here's actually a full scene with Behemoth. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't pull at my heartstrings like that, Chase. Come on. Don't, 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 do, it. don't, don't, don't do, do us dirty. Yeah, that's, oh, oh. Hey, Tomo already did us dirty by releasing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't lying. That's actually factual. Oh, man, but this thing is just, it's just cool. Then bonus collectibles, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla post the color, uh, poster, yeah, color version, and, um, no, oh, that says, never mind. Then that's it, yeah. It's amazing. It's, it's, this thing, it, for a Godzilla fan, if you really love this movie and have the money to spend, get this. I'm not yeah, even find, lying. Find a way to get it. Doesn't matter if, if, if it's back door, front door, side door. Find a way to get it. You know, this thing's going to be on eBay for $500, $600, up to probably a G. You, you, you realize, you realize, I'm probably gonna pay that. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the, the 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 GoFundMe is still available for Camp Yancy. This, this is probably gonna be oh. if I buy it. Speaking, it'll be my birthday present and Christmas present. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of which, um, G1, you told me that if I had the option. This was back when we were talking in, in the G so, in the G show app party, um, when uh, when we were talking about the show a box set, I had to get it for my birthday. Uh huh. Guess what? I convinced my parents to do. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very 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 good. I think hey, hey, we all share uh, pretty much around the same birth. Wait, game games. What's your birthday? Uh, on October seventh. Oh okay. Me and yeah, Chase were like, close like, to. Like, my, my parents were going to get me a gaming chair. And I was like, all right, let me see this gaming chair. Let me see how much it is. And it was the exact same price that Amazon was charging for the show of box And I was like, okay, hang on. You can get me this gaming chair whenever you guys want. Get it for me for Christmas or whatever. But for the exact same price, let me show you this. Yeah. I mean, and that, I like that how that's done because that's how I feel. If you're going to spend money on it on, on me... 
like let me choose what you're gonna spend money on because I don't want to get a gift. I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna want. It. I agree. Exactly. I 100% agree. That's why I buy my own Christmas gifts. <laughs> and that's why I I try to do that here in my house. But Mrs. G1 be putting me down. I'm like, come on, woman, just let me buy my own stuff and you buy your own stuff. And it's then... either I buy my own gifts or I just get gift cards. <laughs> no, they're gonna go to that gift anyways. There it is. But all right, yeah. Th- look, so that box set is amazing, especially for collectors. You get a toy, you get an SH Moss Arts figure, you get this beautiful package. You get, I'm thinking, uh, at least an hour and ten minutes of extra bonus feature that we didn't get here in the states. It's it, and you're getting the DVD, the Blu-ray, and the 4K. So, for instance. Those who, and, and it's crazy because who's really going to pay $200 just to have the DVD? It's not about that. It's about the total package. The, the, the box is a gorgeous box. They did not skimp or shy away from anything in this package. It is, this is a true collector set. This is really legit a true co- a collector set. I mean, like, I, I honestly haven't seen anything cooler than this. Uh, I, might, I might be lying. And I'm having deja vu. That's even like, better. literally, the only other time you, you see collector sets like this is for freaking video games, man. That's true. That's a, that's a really good point. Really I good mean, point. Well, I think I think this goes to line with the a collector set that was just as cool as... If, if you notice, um, before I go into that, the 2014 collector set almost looked exactly like this. It, it was. It was exactly the same. It had the poster color version... Of the 2014 SH Monster Arts, which was and which awesome. we in we in the collectors like to call him Dorito Goji. That's not because nice. he looks like he's got Dorito dust all over him. Um, we you, you get four discs, you get a, a booklet, you get all these special features that wasn't in the American release. And I'm so sad that I missed out on that uh, on that set because these days on eBay, the only thing that that you can find. Of that collector set is the SH Monster Arts figure. That's it. They don't sell the whole package uh, I've seen on eBay. Wow. That's like that's the, that that hardcore Godzilla collector's got that in his collection. Like, yeah, okay, I ain't never letting you go, Jack. Never letting you go. <laughs> this, Titanic. Uh, this box set is almost as cool as when they did that whole DVD set and it came with the bust of the '54 Godzilla. Mm-hmm. What was that? The final box. Uh, yeah. That's one of yeah. the greatest things I've ever seen. I swear to this day. I, I Man, listen. <laughs> to this day, there ain't nothing, nothing that is going to come close to what Toho put out then. And damn you, Toho. I'll tell you right now, way before I knew any one of y'all, I was beefing about that to people who didn't even care about guys. I was like, you don't understand. This you, shit is what, the complete What's the final collection. box? Like, did, did, isn't that the one that's all released that has, like, every single movie in every, the franchise in Every it? single yeah. movie. Every single Godzilla movie. And I would have bought it if they had subtitles. And they did not subtitle that. Well, you see, that's the thing. Like, you could have just popped those DVDs in, like, your computer and downloaded a subtitle file off the internet. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Yeah, we're also 20-some-odd year difference in age, so I don't know that shit. Come on, man. What? What are you talking about? I just... you my, my daughter set this whole set up. That's how we get to do the Godzilla Black Party. My daughter showed me how to put this together. <laughs> I don't hey, know. Hey, that's a smart daughter you got. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just saying, like, yeah, that was way too technical for me, Gam Gams. Especially at that time. Forget about now. Jesus. Good. If, I, if I ever come and hang out... Well, when I come and hang out with you, Ray, I can always help you out with computer stuff, too. Perfect. <laughs> oh, Perfect. dude, if I ever come co- come over to your house, I'll jailbreak your Xbox so you can put any game ever on it. <laughs> like God of War? <laughs> like, actual, like you, I could put a Nintendo 64 no, uh, no, no. thing on there uh, you, so you, you could play, like, Star Fox and shit. Give me Godzilla PS4 on my Xbox. Now that is a slap in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but no, anyway, so I, that's that. Look, the, the box set is dope. It is extremely awesome. Seriously, especially for the collectors. So it's out there. I want, you know, I don't know if it's a limited release thing, but it's going to be out there. So fingers crossed. I would love to have that, but I got to be honest that, and I've said it before, like every time I watch the movie now, it's, 
it's not my favorite Godzilla movie. So I can't see myself paying so much for that, even though it's it it everything that comes with it is spectacular. That being said, let's move on to the next tidbit of news. And I gotta go to Chase on this one because he's got some I don't I'm not gonna say inside info, but there's some stuff floating around uh whatever, IMDB or these random movie sites where they well, uh yeah, he, well, he posted it on his Instagram. Um so all right, Chase, I'll let you take it from here so I don't talk for you, but so, I have, a, I have a friend of mine, and I won't go into his name, but he was an extra in Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Um, I also don't want to say what scene he's in at the moment because I don't want people to, if people know who, who, what he looks like, but he's basically a bald man, and he's in the Castle Bravo scene when the Navy shows up, um, and they're talking about, well, we're out of options because we just killed Godzilla. What do we do? He is in that scene. Um and he, I know where he's placed and everything. But the other day on Instagram, he posted his itinerary for films and TV shows that he's going to be an extra in. And um, on one of the movies he circled to show, it says an untitled Atomic Monster feature film. Secret Atomic Monster fe- feature film. Oh. And um, I thought that was quite interesting um, because... I um, I mean, obviously we don't know for sure what it's going to be, but knowing him, he's a huge Godzilla fan. And um, to me, knowing him, it's probably going to be a Godzilla feature. Um, but if it's not, then it's a total weird, it's a total different movie in general. The only thing is, is I don't know any other monsters that are titled Atomic or would have that subtitle. So I was just wondering... Um, do we think it's a new Godzilla movie that's totally undisclosed and maybe it's something going on in the works? Or is it like reshoots for Godzilla vs. Kong and they're not just saying it and it's just under secret hush-hush, which is possible too. But anyways, I, I saw that and wanted to share and I just thought it was kind of interesting talking about it and just interesting that he posted in general because it's definitely a kaiju movie. But what? What could it be? That's interesting. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting. Uh, yes. The Atomic Monster. You, what was what was King of the Monsters called? Was King of the Monsters Fathom? Or Fathom. Was that, it was Fathom, yeah. right? Yeah, so that's... No, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes, 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 it was Fathom. It was, Apex is Godzilla versus Kong. Okay, and Godzilla didn't... And Godzilla 1, 2014 didn't have anything, right? I don't it, was not, it was called Natulus. No, yeah, right, Natulus. Natulus. Right, Apex right. Apex and Fathom, yeah. So the atomic monster is like so, uh, like it's so obvious, right? Like, is it King of the Monsters two? Are we continuing this, or and this is what I think? Or is it just a brand new movie in the MonsterVerse that doesn't feature Godzilla or Kong? I, I, yeah, like like Godzilla doesn't have to be the only atomic monster. I mean, they they even mentioned with Mothra uh, back back in that beginning scene that her radiation level spikes. So obviously, Mothra is also a radioactive monster. That's true. That's true. It, it, it's it's interesting to me because on one hand, with Godzilla versus Kong being on kind of like the teeter totter right now, I don't know why they would draw all, all the way and jump the gun of doing a total movie that has nothing to do with. Godzilla being in it at the same time. True. I mean, if they want to expand the monster verse, they have to. They have to make other movies besides Godzilla and Kong movies. Well, let me ask you a question, real quick. <laughs> what if? What if this was a Godzilla movie? Does that signify Godzilla beats the crap out of Kong? <laughs> well, that reminds me of uh, how it should have ended. <laughs> the thing that was posted yesterday, how it should have ended, and then oh, Godzilla oh, just nuclear blast Kong into a movie. <laughs> That was a funny. That was a funny moment. That was great. Oh my god. Um, you know the thing is, is like, I, and I see where you guys are coming from. I definitely am curious. You know, for all we know, it could be a Pacific Rim movie. Oh, dude! You know? Wow! Holy crap! I didn't even think of that. You know, um, you know, it it, it does say it's being filmed in Los Angeles, which makes sense because you know that's where movies are made. Um, but. 
I don't know. Um, I honestly, where I want to pin my money on it is I think it might be reshoots for Godzilla vs. Kong. Really? You think that? And you think that... Yeah, I think they're just being hush-hush for it. So then it is um, Godzilla coming out victorious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, of course, I would love to be hopeful that it's another Godzilla movie. And, you know, and again, there still is that chance that it's not even anything to do with Godzilla. You know, for all we know, it could be a behemoth, you know, a beast from 20,000 Fathoms or a War of the Gargantuas movie. Ooh. Um you know, it could be anything. You're just naming off stuff that I want, and I need you to stop right now. Right. Yeah, I know. Hey, man, I want those too. Um, I guess the possibilities, but the definite thing is, is something he's attached to, and then it's a feature film. So, I mean, I hope it's not another Anne Hathaway monster movie. That would be kind of weird. But... <laughs> oh, that movie Colossal weird. Two: The Atomic <laughs> Breath. <laughs> um, I, I dug that movie, <laughs> but. I, I, I don't know. It sounds like it could be something... I, I, I want to say it's probably... Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say because I would like to think. I mean, I know movies do reshoots all the time. And Godzilla vs. Kong ended filming in April, the end of April. It makes sense that they do last-minute touch-ups, um, especially with that screening that they had in uh, uh, London a couple of months ago. Like, they did a full screen of the movie? What's that? They did a full screening of the movie? They did, they, they did, um, a, like a, like a scene. A sizzle reel, okay, yeah. But, but it could have been, a, it could have been a scene they used for a test to okay. see how people acted, reacted okay. to it. Um, I think it makes sense for reshoots for Godzilla vs. Kong, but... If it not, I mean, I, I honestly, I, I, it's, it's hard to tell. All I know is, obviously, there's something coming out with a monster soon. And I just think that's cool because if it's not a Godzilla movie and something different, that's still cool because it's a, it's a monster film. You know, it's it's still something cool to talk about. Um, well, yeah. Be Rampage 2. That would be kind of cool. I would I'm, love to see Rampage 2, to be honest. Me too. <laughs> me too. Um, I love Rampage. I thought that was a fun movie. Um, but you know, I, I, I was just, I just wanted to share it because something's coming out and the possibilities are kind of interesting, you know, could it be a new Godzilla film in general, which would be kind of weird. I don't know why they'd be shooting a new Godzilla movie anyways, and it'd be secret, or is it something completely different or is it reshoots for Godzilla versus Kong? The reason why I think it's reshoots for Godzilla versus Kong is because Godzilla versus Kong is the only thing really relevant at the moment. Um, that's the only thing kind of in the works. Now, the difference is, is there's not really a specific date on the itinerary posted, so I don't know when it's going to be shot or anything like that, just that it's listed. So, um, yeah. Um, I had another piece of information to go into this, or not information, but I had a consp uh, another insight thought to why Godzilla vs. Kong is being delayed hold or on. I think it is but hold I don't know that, if we want to get into that just yeah, yet no, hold on yeah, to that because I want to get we, Gam we Gams. spent the entire last week doing that no but we're going to do it again trust me but I, I just because I, I find it interesting but Gam Gams I want your opinion what do you, what do you think that this atomic monster uh, Fox name foe however you say that damn word name what could you think what do you think it could possibly be well like like i've been peppering in throughout the 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 entire uh thing while we were talking um in order for the monsterverse to be an actual cinematic universe kind of like the mcu um there needs to be more than just godzilla and kong movie there needs to be so like there needs to be other monsters to, to have their time to shine other than the two kings. Um, like, they, and, and like, it's, with the announcement that it's an atomic monster movie, that opens up the door for pretty much anybody because, like Monarch, uh, uh, what's her name? The, uh, the Emma Russell said that Every monster has the radiation that that makes the planet better for some reason, even though that's not how radiation works. <laughs> but every monster is somewhat atomic. Rodan has radiation. Mothra has radiation. Godzilla has radiation. Kong has radiation. Um, so it could be literally anything. I would love a monster movie in the MonsterVerse, if not a Godzilla or 
Call of Duty. That's what I hope that this might be. But it could be another Godzilla movie. Godzilla versus Godzilla versus Young Gary confirmed. I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot. No, no, that not even Young Gary. I just, I want Gamera in the MonsterVerse. Gamera's I not... want Gamera so bad. Well, that's because you gave Gam Z one, but that's never gonna happen. You know it. Chase Christian knows it. The world knows head. it. Don't crush my dreams. Th- that one I have to. That one's going into a trash compactor and we're squishing your ass, Chewie. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Because uh, as much as we all want that to happen, okay, it's just not. That that would be big news. Now, that could possibly happen in the future if this Toho Worldwide Initiative takes off and then... Well, Gamera is up to Katakawa now, Toho. But, but that's where I was going. And they see that. And then they see, well, you know, at one point, Marvel had Spider-Man. At one point. And look at the buku bucks that made. So why not? And again, maybe a lot of Western fans don't really know who Gamera is because he's not in a spotlight like Godzilla. He didn't well, win an MTV Lifetime Achievement. made a solo Gamera movie, then people would know. No, but that's also... But the difference is... Did the, anyone get any more movies after that? It's name recognition. <laughs> it's name recognition. And Gamera is not widely known the way Godzilla is. Again... MTV Lifetime Movie Achievement Award, whatever it's called, which was crazy. But the fact of the matter is that so many people watching that particular uh, award show who did, don't watch Godzilla movies, all of a sudden to see Godzilla. Godzilla with a Hollywood star on the Walk of Fame. Ain't no camera one. It's a big... Di- Shit, I don't even think there's a King Kong one now I think about it. No, it's gotta be. There's gotta yeah, be. Yeah, no, King, King Kong. Kong doesn't have a star. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say it's gotta be one. I, I think it would be a thing if they did a Gamma movie, you would get those people that would piss us off and they would think it's just a Godzilla movie. <laughs> See, you know what? I 100% agree with that. I 100% I mean, agree with that. I mean, this may play into you guys clowning on Gamma even more, but like, you know, you, you know, handprint thing in like in front of the uh, the Chinese theater? Nope. Where, where celebrities leave their. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Even Optimus Prime has a handprint there. So. See? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So that's the only reason why it'd be a, a very hard sell. But young Gary on the other hand. No, just kidding. But anyhow, well, jumping off of that, Chase, you've had some other conspiracy theories you've been cooking up into your brain. And you yeah. haven't told us anything. So let me ask and you, why do you think, why do you think, what, what, what? leads you to believe even more so now that Godzilla vs. Kong might be delayed or cancelled altogether so and I know I'm hypocritical because I said I didn't want to say this uh, or get into this subject anymore but the problem is is you started a fire and now my brain's not going to stop this working seems, on it this sounds like a California wildfire bro seriously yeah, it no, yeah, it, 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 yeah it's kind of like a nuclear explosion and Godzilla's critical massing over and over again <laughs> in my head um, so here I was in my Friday night thoughts in my shower just sitting there thinking about things um, not going to go any further because I know some of you get too excited for that information. Um, but you got to pay for that up print. Anyways, um, I was thinking about it. Godzilla vs. Kong was set out to come out originally in May of um, 2020, correct? So when they finished filming in April... I don't I don't remember when it was announced that Godzilla vs. Kong was going to be sh- uh, switched to March. Um, I don't I don't know if any of you guys remember that information when they announced it because I I don't think it was before it finished filming. Um, I think King of the I think I think Godzilla vs. Kong got announced. Uh, it's pushed back sometime in May, and because that was when Fast and the Furious got announced. But anyways, I digress. The reason why I think it's going to be delayed even further is because when you're filming a film and you're producing it and everything, you have a you have a schedule on the deadline, and when a movie's set to come out, 
you go off of the leeway of when it's des- when that's scheduled to come out. So my thought process was if they were filming this movie, which makes sense for a movie coming out in May, to finish filming in April, and then they're going to release it, and they fill in with the editing. They they are they are set with breathing room. That's enough breathing room. They can they can do that for a movie that's going to come out in May because that's almost a year away. Now, when that got switched to March, that gets rid of that scheduled breathing room that they anticipated. The schedule time and what they had a thought process for and the itinerary they set up to make this film is now cut drastically to where the movie is finished to come out in March. So I think they're going to come out eventually and might say, um, I, I, and, and they, they, they might explain that it's not, they're, they're, going to make t- they're going to take more time on Godzilla versus Kong and push it out. Be, um, because I think that, again, with what I've been saying, March isn't enough time. And I think thinking about that with it originally coming out in May, now they don't have that time anymore. And I really don't, uh, another thing is, it was just announced the other day, or Warner Brothers, most of Warner Brothers movies that have come out in 2019 didn't do so well. And I just don't think that Warner Brothers is going to push out Godzilla versus Kong in hopes that it's going to turn that around in the short amount of time that they have. And so I think that's another reason why Godzilla versus Kong is going to be delayed a little further. I think that I think if they're smart, and I hope they're smart, They know that it's not enough time. And yeah, you can say that it doesn't take that long for a movie to be made. But the thing is, the CGI for Godzilla and Kong, and if there's other monsters in the movie, and for reshoots, because we know reshoots are going to happen whether they're talked about or not, it's to me, with a movie coming out in not even a a year of itself, it's just not enough time. Now, whether it's coming out in May, that's a different story. But it's coming out in March or said March. That's not. A, I just don't think that's enough time. So it just, it just, it just further gives me more of a thought process of that, that of that whole situation. And that's another reason why I think it's probably going to get delayed is because now they don't have that scheduled breathing room to make this movie, and they don't want to make a movie cut in half. I honestly feel like if Godzilla vs Kong comes out in March. It's basically Legendary and Warner Brothers just saying, all right, we sh- we uh, set sail on Godzilla, and this is our goodbye to him. And that's how I see it. Okay, I and I don't that. think that's what they want to do. I think they want to keep this franchise viable. And so I don't think they're just going to let go of Godzilla, especially with all the stakes now that are on hand, you know, with Toho and everything. I don't think they're just going to let go of it. And... So yeah, I, I that's another reason why I think Godzilla vs. Kong is going to be delayed. I'll tell you right now... No, just uh, wanted to bring it to your guys' attention. No, I, I respect that. I'll tell you right now, uh, if all... If everything we see right now, the signs for the Joker is pointing in the right direction, that is a very cheap film. And I don't mean cheap like in terms of like it's poor quality or whatever. I mean, I mean like in terms of actual filming... It's a lot cheaper than, let's say, a Batman movie would have been made, right? Um, and that movie is on pace to make some really good bank. So that should be a certified hit for Warner Brothers. And I, I appreciate, I mean, yeah, Warner Brothers. I appreciate what you said because they have had a shit ton of misfires this year. A shit ton. And it goes back because even that last Harry Potter movie didn't hit the, uh, whatever, the... You know, the one with the mysterious creatures and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Fantastic Beasts? That one. Yeah, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Right. They should just call it, like, cryptozoology and shit and, and just, you know, put a stamp on that. <laughs> but, um... So, yeah, they have had a ton of misfires when it comes to their blockbuster movies. Um, and even though this last movie that just came out, whatever it was called, wasn't supposed to be a blockbuster movie and it misfired... Oh, the Goldfinch? The Goldfinch, like yeah. There was something else that dropped that was it, it chapter two. They, they, you know, I, uh, everybody's gonna go see that. So 
In terms of that, yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. The Joker might change that up. Um, and th- the, the, uh, however, the new rumor, I'm sorry to cut you off, but the new rumor is Godzilla versus Kong might be attached to um, the a Birds of Prey. No, uh, that that couldn't uh, even happen. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, something to do with like a, when the trailer drops for that. That could oh well the Birds of Prey trailer I they, they showed a teaser in the beginning uh, like before it started um and Birds of Prey doesn't come out until February there's no way no way yeah there's yeah yeah no it wasn't attached to the movie it was there's something coming out soon with Birds of Prey something pretty soon coming out and Godzilla versus Kong is rumored to be um, along with that for something. It's probably New York City Comic Con. It's less it's a couple of weeks away. It's a couple of weeks away. Again we'll find out. My 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 thing is if Godzilla vs. Kong is sticking to the March deadline, November third is the place to put it. Mm-hmm. Real quick, I don't know this offhand, so I'm asking you guys, cause when did King Kong vs. Godzilla come out? It came out in 1962. I don't right, know the exact mind. month. Never mind. Uh, could, could you I think it was August of 1962. Because uh, in my in my head, I was like, could you imagine if King Kong vs. Godzilla came out in 1965? And I'm sorry yeah. right now, but it, that would have been it just It came perfect. out in 1962 okay. in Japan. It came out in 1963 in America. Okay. All right. So that's way off the mark there. So all I'm saying is... Uh, even still, the 65th anniversary of Godzilla, that's a big deal. 65 years of Godzilla. The, the movie's called Godzilla vs. Kong. If it's stuck in March, if it's still coming out, that's where you place it. That's where you place it. But if they want to do a uh, New York City Comic Con, so be it. It's a Comic Con. There's more eyes on it. So I understand why they would do it there. And the New York City Comic Con has been growing exponentially. But... um. Yeah, man, I mean, I, thinking about what you're saying, I, I'm not mad at any of those uh, thoughts and theories. I, I, it, it does take time. I will say that if it finished filming in April and it was coming out even though it got uh, pushed forward to March instead of May, there's still enough time to do a lot of things in post. But here's my biggest thing. Because when you're saying that, all I'm thinking of, could you imagine they went classic show up and just started using stock footage? I mean, what? man in man in suits. I mean, they <laughs> technically used stock footage in King of the Monsters. They sure the fuck did. So could you imagine that? That reminds me. I was watching King of the Monsters last night, and I uh, the other night, and I saw one of the stock footage used for when the monsters emerge, and they used the concept trailer for 2014, and it's the broken train with all the dead people. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they I got so the mad when I saw that. They used the Comic-Con 2012 trailer. They, they used stock footage of the Comic-Con 2012 trailer. And yeah. The monsters. So I, I got so mad when I saw that. No, I was so pissed. It, it, it brings charm. It brings a certain type of charm, and I got a high five Michael Darby <laughs> for that because it brings a certain type of charm. So let's say that they could get away with bringing it out in March because of stock footage. I'm with it. Gam Gams, what do you think? I mean, you know. Um, King of the Monsters had about a year's worth, I think maybe a little over a year's worth, of post-production. Okay. And Michael Doherty said in the special features that they had a generous amount of time for their post-production. Like, a generous amount of time. So, 11 months for post-production? That's pretty standard. I'm just saying. That's pretty standard. Right. What King of the Monsters was given was generous. Okay. So, well, then, yeah, there it is. Look, again, until we know more, I, last last episode, I jumped on Chase's bandwagon. It either getting delayed or uh, pushed back or delayed indefinitely. Uh, we haven't heard nothing yet. I, I'm just saying, I'm waiting until New York Comic Con. Nothing mm-hmm. shows up at New York Comic Con, then I'll, I'll be all on board on the delay thing. And we. On- until New York Comic Con comes and goes and there's nothing there, I'm not saying anything about this. Right, and that's and that's the thing. So, but yeah, that's that's King, that's Godzilla versus Kong. I mean, like, there's really nothing else we can say about that other than we hope this movie's gonna be good. Yeah, and then and then, you know, that's exactly what I hope. I mean, in my in my world, I would hope for this movie to come out in March and it just does it is just successful. 
That's just all I want. I just want the movie whenever it comes out to be successful because I want my franchise to live on. Right. You know, I don't want it to stop at Godzilla versus Kong. I think that's kind of, you know, kind of a flat foot. But um, you know, but the thing is, is I have to be somewhat uh, uh, realistic thinking about it at the same time. I, you know, look, we're we're talking about a franchise that has had two separate occasions where the movie's box office was only just over a hundred thousand dollars. Talking about Terror Mega Godzilla and City on the Edge of Battle, and Godzilla was still here. <laughs> So, both true. movies are Mecha but, Godzilla movies. Unbelievable. <laughs> that, that that's true, but but I mean for Hollywood though, you know, it's a little yeah, bit for more ho- for Hollywood. But we still have Toho. That's true. Yeah, Toho's not not doing the greatest in the Ray era. Only one movie's good. Just depending on your opi- <laughs> depending on your depending on your opinion, it could either be no. Listen, depending on your opinion, it could either be Shin Godzilla or Planet of the Monsters. <laughs> But, but, but hey, you actually bring up a good point because even if you do like those movies, the problem is is the anime didn't make the money they wanted. No, and it didn't. the thing is right. is if Toho wants to come back, what happens if we get into another situation where it's uh, bankruptcy and we have to kill off the monster and go dormant for another twelve years? You know, that's what I don't want to happen. Yeah. I don't, yeah, we, 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 we don't want another Final Wars. I, you better stop that shit. We don't want another shit, Godzilla. Um, no, no, no. I'm not saying the nah, I know, I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you mean. The, the, the whole idea, the hiatus. Uh, yeah. But I, look, I don't think Godzilla's going anywhere in terms of Toho. Uh, uh, they, they're, they're putting too much stock into what they want to do with this global branding thing. You Again, you, we... The, the top of the show, you look at the, the, the this box set, this collector's edition they're bringing out for King of the Monsters and Chase, you nailed it when you said Legendary didn't do that and here's Toho showcasing their pride and joy, look this is, they look. And it's a beautiful thing honestly because you you know sometimes a lot, I know a lot of fans think that Toho is kind of like sharp with stone with you know the American uh, with America having a say in their character, but with them showing that, I like that because it means it to me. It seems like Toho's not being biased. Right now, let's say let, uh, I'm going to segue real quick into something that Toho probably didn't have any say, but was pretty much happy with the outcome, and that is, and I'm not going to say it due to copyright infringement, but you know, death battle. <laughs> uh, the, the last. The, Death Battles and uh, 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 an online web series. There ain't no copyrights. I'm it, not even gonna. Do, I'm not even gonna even do it. I don't want them to come here and try to even claim anything because hey, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this just because I enjoy doing this. But anyhow, the death battle. Oh, death battle between the Dragon Zord and freaking Mechagodzilla, aka Kiru, dropped what two weeks ago? Yeah, just yeah. about. Okay, let's let's talk about that. Okay, let's talk about that. Um, I I loved how. Okay, so back a couple years ago, when they did the Godzilla versus Gamma right, that battle. Oh, we already um, knew how that was gonna end. Up. They they used a composite version of both characters. They combined every version of Godzilla and made it into one character, and they combined every version <sighs> of Gamma and made it into one character. But with this Kiryu versus Dragon Zord fight, they just used one version of Mechagodzilla, which is Kiryu. Wrong they, version. They didn't, they didn't make a composite uh, Mechagodzilla that that combines the the uh, the weaponry of the Showa, the sides of the Heisei, and uh, the, the the bones of Godzilla from from Kiryu. They 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 made just Kiryu. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Still, the fact remains the same. They used the wrong Mecha Godzilla. Well, yeah, they should have done the show with Mecha Godzilla, but or even no, why not the Hesai? I mean, the Hesai has because because the Hesai is too big. It was about well, yeah, but, uh, the Hesai Godzilla is one hundred twenty meters tall. 
Okay, but look, at the scale of Kiru versus Dragonzord, Kiru wasn't bigger than Dragonzord, so it's just like yeah, a no, reverse. No, no. Dragonzord is 90 meters tall. Kiryu is 60 meters tall. It's the, it's the reverse. It's the reverse. So watching that death battle, it would have just been Dragonzord versus Kiru, but the other way around. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That, that's what I would like. But I'm not... I digress myself. I am mad. I am mad at what they used. Um... Uh, I enjoyed it. Ah, man. I'm telling you, man. Just when I watched it the first time, there was so... I should have took notes. I should have took notes. I was saying to myself later on, I should have took notes. And then I never went back and watched the whole thing. But right before we did this podcast, I went back and I just watched the battle itself. Highly entertaining. Highly entertaining. One of my favorites. Um, um, I didn't go too much into... I, I mostly looked at what their research was for Kiryu rather than uh, r- rather than uh, Dragonzord. I don't know if they got any facts about Dragonzord wrong. Because I know Death Battle loves to get their facts wrong. <laughs> Why do you say that? Give me. I a- mean, look at their Superman versus Goku Death Battle. That's they got diff- their facts wrong out the gate. Wait, t- we not even talking... T- what? Get out of here. I'm just using that as an example of Death Battle getting their facts wrong. Okay. Um, but from what I saw of their Kiryu analysis, they got pretty much everything on the money. Um, there's not much I could say that that they didn't cover. I mean, they could have done a composite Kiryu between the Tokyo SOS and the uh, the Godzilla X Men Godzilla versions, and have them have both the Triple Mazer and the Absolute Zero. But they just went with the absolute zero, so that that that's okay. That's fine. I much rather them do that because it is the best weapon in that arsenal. It is. It is. The, the triple mazer really didn't do much against Godzilla. Right. It didn't do nothing. But I mean, like, so my thing. Okay, my it, the show of Mecha Godzilla to me is when you talk about offense, it's the best one. It had everything. It had finger and toe missiles. It, it ends there. It made Godzilla bleed profusely, and no other Mecha Godzilla has ever done that. That's my point, and that's the thing too. Like <laughs> Mecha Godzilla is one of the only uh, opponents to actually defeat Godzilla, like literally three times, three times. Yep. yep. Uh, sure, Mecha Godzilla defeated Godzilla. Uh, uh, I think. No, actually, twice. that was a tie. That was a tie. That was a tie. But. It made Godzilla go into a whole other place. Oh, yeah. It, you know um, what I mean? And uh, Heisei, Heisei Mecha Godzilla straight up killed Godzilla before Rodan brought him back to life. Killed him twice. Okay. So I just want to point that out. You hit him the first time and then the, 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 the pulse short-circuited Mecha Godzilla. But that first battle, Mecha Godzilla beat the crap out of Godzilla. No, I'm, I'm saying Mecha Godzilla actually killed Godzilla. During a final fight before Rodan fight them. That's my point too. That's why I should have been the Hesai Mecha Godzilla, because that's that's the end all be all. Yeah. Like that's the only time Mecha Godzilla any other weapon besides the oxygen Detro- destroyer has actually killed Godzilla. <sighs> this is true. Chase, what about you, Mary? But what were your thoughts on this death battle? Um, I mean I I didn't. I, I just thought it was fun for flavor. I mean, of course, whenever there's a Godzilla, there's a Godzilla death battle. I always will root for the Godzilla character to win. You know, so I was happy when Kiru won because I think that was a smart decision. Um, I think what they did, they just scaled them both down to size equally. But um, to me, I mean. It, it wasn't a thing. <laughs> it's definitely not a thing where I'm like, like, oh, they got, like, I'm worried about the facts they got wrong because, you know, I don't expect Death Battle to get it right all the time. I mean, um, but it was it was cool to watch. My big thing was just watching the animation of the whole thing. It was really fun, really creative. Um, oh, yeah, that's probably the smoothest 3D animation Death Battle has ever put out. Yeah, I thought it was one of their best, to be honest. Wow. Like, you look at the animation of Godzilla versus Gamera, and then you watch Kiryu versus uh, Dragonzord, and you could see, it's night and day. So, yeah. Three years apart. <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely feel like. I remember there was one thing I remember watching about it, and I was like, well, wait a minute. That's kind of funny. 
Um, I, uh, but I don't remember what it was exactly, but either than that, I mean, it was just fun for flavor. You know, I just watched it for fun. I, uh, and especially, I mean, even the Godzilla versus Gamera battle, you know, to me, that was, you know, obviously we know who the victor is, but it was, it's just for fun. You know, um, I, I really don't, I, I honestly just really don't know how, like, I don't, I don't know what to really say on those. I never really watched those, you know, as, as long as, you know, they, let's put it this way. They can have all the facts wrong about the monsters and as long as they have the Godzilla character win, <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know, um, I, I am strictly biased to that. You know, but my, um, my my turtle boy put up a fight. Oh, okay, <laughs> put up a fight. Put up a fight. Nah, I uh, um, it, it was entertaining. I I just liked watching it a lot. I thought it was a fun thing. My biggest thing really right now is the how it should have ended, but um. The um the bit, the death battle to me, like I said, it, it was fun for flavor. I don't really not, have much of an opinion on it. Not not gonna lie, when it comes to the how it should have ended, I don't think that was as good an episode as the Godzilla twenty fourteen one. Yeah, I don't think so either. Or the Pacific Rim Uprising one. Yeah, like like I I, I wish that they brought back Superman for, for another. Yeah. After how Godzilla's <laughs> a superhero and destroying the city, and Superman's just like, "Whoa, come on, man! I'm doing the same thing with Zod." I hate you for it. <laughs> yep, and on that note, I've never watched any of those things. So, <laughs> that being said, listen, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you, my brother Chase, for being on uh, the, the podcast with us. Oh, absolutely. As always, it was fun to be back. I'm glad I'm not sick. And um, I'll be cooking up more conspiracies and theories why Godzilla vs. Kong is being delayed. <laughs> and we're going to see you. For the next it's gonna be a new segment until we get a trailer. Right, right. Yeah, that's what, gotta be it. What, 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 what the reason Chase thinks Godzilla vs. Kong's being delayed this week? Chase's conspiracies featuring G7. Gam Gams, Andrew wrote, thank you for being on. Oh yes, oh yes. And and once again to show this, GoFundMe.com slash GamGam has a problem. That's right. He knew, you know it. We know it. There it is. <laughs> and his birthday's coming up, people. So, you know, really, go fund him. Uh, and that's hey, it. Uh, mine's coming in October, too. That's true. We got we got, we got, got birthdays coming up. We're going to do a birthday bash on the Godzilla block party real soon. It's like, it's just, it's like, it's Gam Gams, it's Chase's, it's mine's, and then it's Godzilla's. So, Andrew, back to back to back October to back. 7th. October 7th? Yeah, I'm 20 coming. days after you. It's coming up real quick. I'm going to be 26 years old. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. I'm out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am G1. This is the Godzilla Block Party. Thank you for joining us, and we are out of here. Peace. <laughs>